Hey, I've been getting a lot of questions on like every social media platform. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to just compile a list of the frequently asked questions that I get about Fort Lauderdale and make it into a video. So let's get into it. All right, so first question, differences between Fort Lauderdale and Miami. You know, I don't spend a whole lot of time in Miami. All I know is that it's a lot more hectic. Yeah, definitely feel like Miami is a lot more hectic than Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale is more of a, man, it's like the best of both worlds. The way that it was described to me before I moved here from Texas was you've got Miami, that's like crazy hectic and loud and fast moving. And then you got West Palm, which is like a little bit more slow paced, retiree kind of feel. Maybe I'm totally wrong, but Fort Lauderdale is a mix of both of those things. Next question. There's good weather, but what about the bad weather? Yeah, the bad weather. We definitely have some inconvenient weather sometimes here in South Florida. A lot of times, you know, we have this beautiful weather, like what I'm experiencing right now. I know you can't see outside, but it's a phenomenal day. We're in the winter months and it's like 80 degrees outside, sunny, not a cloud in the sky, but when it does get into the bad weather type of time, which is more in like the summer months, you know, random rain showers, ruin your plans kind of rain showers. It just, it gets a little bit annoying. And obviously we have a, an entire hurricane season. Thankfully, I've never been directly affected by a hurricane, but I know that that's a big thing here in Florida. So the bad weather can be, like I said, a little bit annoying just as far as getting in the way of plans because they're, they are so random. All right, so this is one of the most asked questions that I get on social media. And it's basically, what are the bar and restaurant recommendations we have in, here in Fort Lauderdale? And I'm gonna reference my computer because I have a message that I send now, you know, copy and paste to people literally because I get asked this so many times. So as far as like restaurant recommendations, I would go El Camino, Louis Bossi, Fogarty Chow, and Yacht Bar and Kitchen. And the reason is El Camino, tacos, Mexican food, loud music, amazing drinks. It's just like a really quick, vibey place right on Las Olas Boulevard. And then Louis Bossi, also on Las Olas, as, as a couple of these are, but uh, nicer Italian spot, a little bit more high class. You can get a bunch of people there. Definitely gonna have a good experience there. Bogo de Chao, Brazilian Steakhouse, is also on Las Olas. Just an amazing spot in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> um, but it's my favorite steakhouse. Like 60, 65 bucks and you get all of the meat that you want, endless salad bar, phenomenal. You gotta check it out. And then lastly, Yacht Bar and Kitchen. It's in a marina surrounded by like mega yachts, which is pretty much what Fort Lauderdale is known for. So it's just immaculate energy, immaculate vibes. You got the seafood side of things. So yeah, that's the restaurants that I would go with. As far as like bars and everything, you've got the Wharf, which is a pretty like, I guess you could say like like big hotspot for a, a little bit of the younger crowd. It's right here near Las Olas. You've got Rooftop, which is a little bit more high end, literally on the roof of one of the buildings in Fort Lauderdale. So you get insane views. Really, really cool spot. Tin Roof is another place that we just checked out just around the corner from the wharf the other night. And you typically have like live music there. That's another really cool spot. And then Palm Room. It's a brand new spot right on Las Olas and it's fun. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it with that. It's fun. <laughs> is Fort Lauderdale really worth the hype? What hype? <laughs> I feel like Fort Lauderdale doesn't get enough hype to be completely honest. A lot of people think that we're just like a spring break city, you know, where people just come for spring break and then they leave and you know, bigger parts of Florida is uh, is where you would end up. But no, Fort Lauderdale is one of the coolest cities in America, in my honest opinion. We've got everything here. I mean, just as far as living, you can start your career here, you can retire here. There's different pockets for like different types of people in Fort Lauderdale, which is gonna be a little bit of the next question, but Fort Lauderdale, in my opinion, is 1000% worth whatever hype it has. What's a good safe neighborhood next to the ocean that isn't all tourist? All right, there's a lot of pieces of this question, but as far as like just neighborhoods close to the ocean that tend to be on the safer side, I would say you got Lauderdale by the Sea, Coral Ridge, Galt Mile, any of the aisles along Los Olas Boulevard. And although a little bit further away from the beach, you've got like Victoria Park. All really, really highly rated neighborhoods. They're gonna be safe. And honestly, to take it in a more broad range, I think all of Fort Lauderdale is safe. I don't think it's, you know, that bad of a place to be. Obviously, there may be certain part, pockets of like any city that aren't quite as safe, but that's you know up to your own research and, and you gotta look into it a little bit further if you wanna know specifics on that kind of stuff. So yeah, those are uh, some of the neighborhoods that I would recommend. All right, that wraps up the Fort Lauderdale FAQ video. If you have uh, any other questions that I didn't answer in here, drop them in the comments and I may do a video like this again in the future and I'll see you next time.